Hey guys, we're moving on to our next project now over here, a Hurricane Sally repair. And I just want to say one thing, if y'all would just please be patient with us. We've got plenty of work lined up on the boards right now and we're trying to get to everybody just as quick as we can. Just because you see us in the area doesn't mean we can jump on yours next. Uh, we've got a lot of people that have been waiting very patiently in line. And what happens is we get to a job and then as soon as we get there, we add on more stuff or a customer adds on more stuff. And what we've estimated, you know, one or two days ends up taking a week or two weeks. So it just prolongs the time out to get to your project. So if you would please be patient with my office staff, I'd appreciate it. And uh, continue watching my videos and give me a subscribe and thumbs up if you like it. Thanks. So here's our next uh, tear out demo project. We're gonna demo this dock. Go ahead and get it all over to the Reclaim Center and uh, go back with a new dock. Dock's pretty close and the boathouse is pretty close to the property line right now. So we're gonna get that moved over to the center of the property. Got a nice dock going out with a platform on the back side of the boathouse. It'll be a nice boathouse and a catwalk on either side. Looks like all this has got synthetic decking on it. Old Choice Deck or Moisture Shield. I'm not really sure which, which brand it is. We'll start demoing this and pulling it all out tomorrow. All right, we got the barge over here on this project. We're gonna go ahead and start with our demo. Start getting everything uh, tore down so we get a clean slate to go back with the new dock, platform, and boathouse. Start getting the uh, deck separated from the framing. Got the swing on, cut in sections out where we can lift it up and set it over here on the barge. Doing the, we're doing the demo on this platform. Here's something that I have never seen. It's a bolt it's supposed to go through that piling. It's just sitting right on top of that piling. I really don't know what good that's going to do. <laughs> Getting the siding and handrails off. Now we're trying to get the boat lift out. Get it all stacked on the barge. Hopefully get this thing completely taken apart today. Freddie's supposed to be meeting us at the boat ramp later on today with all our new material. So we'll unload the garbage onto the trailers and the reclaim stuff and then load the new material up and get started in the morning. I think that was a rain collection system. <laughs> spider habitat. Everywhere. You love spiders, don't you? Well, that's a good thing we're removing this lift. You look right there on that piling. You can see the bolt that actually supported it split, and that two by twelve has dropped down a few inches, and that's where the majority of the weight sits on that board right there. So just a matter of time for this whole lift came right down on top of the boat while sitting in the lift. It's got the steel straps on it, but it's still gonna drop down and scare somebody pretty good. Trying to get the old lift, or the last part of the old lift, out of the boathouse. All right, coming down. All right, hold on. Got a couple guide ropes tied to it to ease it down a little bit. To walk? We're going to have to turn it all the way there and pull it out. That way. Careful, gun, you're gonna be leaning out into the water. <laughs> okay, should be okay with the way you got the rope on there, just don't go with it. Get that rope. Gotta put it on the inside. 
Give him a little bit. Of, these bottom brackets? Yeah. Give him a little bit of slack on your side. You got some slack on that already or no? Hunter's going to hold up for you, right, Hunter? <laughs> See? Ooh, guillotine. Roll it and set it on the motor. Roll it. Yeah, there roll you go. It. There you go. You ain't got to sit there and hold it. Once we get the demoed stuff up on a barge, we strap it up so it's easier to move around when we go to pick it up to put it on our trailers and haul it off. Today got most of the roof down. 
taking the framing down now that we're yanking these poles out. Just a little bit left to tear down the boathouse. We'll have this thing all loaded up on the barge. see right here this is the uh, boat house pole and it looks like there's only like two and a half foot of pole in the ground you see the dark spot that's the part that's actually in the mud it went back with another sister pole beside it in another one and still only put them like two and a half foot in the ground that's why the boat house was sinking these poles here that I'm installing gonna be at least eight foot in the ground the boat house poles will be uh, 10 to 12 foot in the ground the old dock is finally removed this is a second barge load I ain't never seen so many pilings on such a small dock, but man, I don't have to count on Mars. There's a lot of them. They probably had to do so many because they could only get them a couple feet in the ground. But take this to the boat ramp in the morning, unload it, then head back over here with the new material and start building a new dock. Got second load of debris on the barge, fixing to head it over to the boat ramp now and get it unloaded on our trailer. And there's a lot of that stuff we'll be reclaiming, taking to Kelly's uh, Reclaim Center. Here's all the pilings off this project. Got it all loaded on the uh, trailer. Fixing to take it to the Reclamation Center now, which is Kelly Hickman, my wife. Runs a pretty good business. It's just good we keep all the stuff out of the landfill. We're just not piling up on the landfill. There's a lot of people that can come buy affordable lumber um, at her place over there, which is really nice. You know, people say they would never build what they build if it weren't for her, so that makes us feel real good to, to allow them to be able to do that, especially with lumber prices these days. He's picking up the old pilings out, getting ready to haul them off. And he's dropped me another trailer here with all my new lumber on it. Getting ready to start get started on the uh, dock and boathouse. Some 8 inch, 30 foot long pilings. Got the trailer in place, ready to start unloading. Getting it all put on the barge. Here we go, another dock package on the barge. Gonna make somebody else happy this spring. So this is what it looks like here when your new dock is just about to show up on your property. Got all the material on the barge, the pilings, the lumber, just don't have the decking yet. We'll get all this set and uh, have Chase's crew come in here and get it all decked out. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my page and watching my videos. I appreciate it. I'm going to get a lot of comments from you guys and I try to answer all the ones that I can. Uh, just be patient, I'll get back with you. But if you would like the page, subscribe. Uh, if you got any uh, thing you want to see, just leave me a comment there and I'll try to get them posted for you. Thank you guys. I'll keep watching just as soon as we get the dock and platform the boathouse completed over here, I'll get that posted.